With the Glasgow Velodrome and a very apt place to talk to Miss Lawrence Skelly, MHK, who's on our trip here today to go around and to see what's going on in, in for the games. Plus, I know you've had a lot of meetings as well, haven't you? Uh, yes, we, yes, we have uh, with the uh, First Minister, Alex Salmon. And uh, we're here, obviously, in uh, Glasgow launching the flight uh, back. And uh, we're delighted to, ha to be here for that. And this is about promoting tourism and also trade links here between the Isle of Man and Scotland. Because right, I say very apt about having cyclists behind us, but the big news is... And the big news is that the Isle of Man is going to bid for the British Road Racing Cycling Championships to come to the Isle of Man. And uh, something we've been preparing for quite some time. And uh, it's very appropriate that we're here because obviously the cycling uh, fraternity on the Isle of Man on our very famous world champions, uh, Cavendish and Kenya, who will hopefully be supporting us. Now, I remember the days when we used to have a lot of cycling going on, especially after TT week, all that seemed to disappear just as it seemed to become a bigger sport. Is that what you're going after now? This is something that only brings competitors, but will it bring tourists? followers over to the island? That's the intention is that uh, we will have a professional event on the Isle of Man, that's our first aim, uh, but we want that to be a launch pad for cycling tourism on the Isle of Man, so we will have pre and post events that will be for the amateurs and we hope that this will actually be something to build upon and create a legacy and a new festival of cycling. So you put a bid in, do you know who you're against and uh, what's the procedure? I mean, do you have to put money down? Is that the sort of thing? Or is it more about facilities and guarantees on what you can do? It's both. It is a financial obligation. And that's something, as I say, it's taken some time for us to bring forward. Initially, uh, it started back actually Olympic year when we wanted to capitalise on the Cavendish phenomenon. Mm -hmm. As we know, Cavendish didn't win the gold. Kenya did. And that's fantastic news for the Isle of Man. And now we do have this uh, famous cycling fraternity, as I say, and such a major... Um, influence on the Isle of Man particularly with our young people but we want to drive this from a tourism perspective as well as an event. Do you know who you're against yet? Is anybody up there? We, we don't, we don't. We are just making our announcement early this year so that we are put in a, a prime position and hopefully we are successful and this will be a great event for the Isle of Man. You've done presentations. What have you offered that other places haven't? Well, we haven't done presentations as yet. We, we have made representations uh, to say that we are intending to put this bid forward. Uh, today is the, is the announcement that we are officially going to make that bid uh, for the Isle of Man. Well... Very apt. Have we got the infrastructure for it? <laughs> yes, I believe we do, uh, without a doubt. And I think, you know, we've got fantastic... Um, I think our topography lends very well for road racing. And uh, as you pointed out, we used to be the home of the International Cycling Festival uh, for many years, and then it uh, did die off. And I think that was really centred around the fact of the um, TT course being entirely closed. This mm. would be quite a different race event altogether. So uh, we hope that we'll be successful. When will you know more? Uh, we won't know more till the end of the year, but there is a considerable amount of prep time with this, as we do need to, as you point out, uh, consider how the uh, structure of the bid will be in terms of where the race will be, the infrastructure, sponsorship, and all everything that goes around it.